Uh, yeah, good uh, afternoon. Welcome to another uh, another episode of Crime Page Botany Dozen. Now, what we're doing up here, about 20 feet up in a freaking ebony tree. It's a 100-year-old Texas ebony, Ebonopsis abano. Cool genus. I believe there's two other species in it. Uh, it's a legume, of course. Here's what the foliage looks like. You know, this needs to get planted out a lot more, but people down here in South Texas don't like planting them so much because they drop, ooh, they drop uh, the, the fruits that look like a little seed pod. Uh, on the ground so people get kind of weird which is stupid people this, they're great trees great shade trees anyway what we're focusing on now is not the ebony we're focused on this cactus right here which is a very rare cactus that used to be a lot more abundant like many things down here in south texas but yeah after so much habitat clearance conversion to ag agriculture and now now conversion to a sprawl in the the strip mall death cult uh it's uh, kind of disappeared but there's still a couple remnant populations uh here and there especially in gardens this particular genetic individual was saved from the mouth of the river over by uh brownsville when we say the river we're talking to rio grande you know the rio grande over there so this this individual was saved from the mouth of the river uh over by brownsville and of course like many cacti they root very easily from cutting so you could cut that piece off let that piece the the spot where you cut callus over stick it in the ground and it'll just start growing all right but make sure it's near a tree so it can uh, have something to grow up. Anyway, this is Selena Sirius spinulosis. You can see it flowered right now. Now these are these are pollinated at night by bats. The flower is still open today. It'll probably be open for another, I don't know, another another day at the most. Maybe it smells absolutely divine. Uh, and uh, this flower, aka this perianth that you're looking at, is not uh, you know unlike unlike most flowers which have. Uh, petals and sepals corolla and calyx respectively this just has tepals all right cactus flowers just have tepals that means they're undifferentiated there's no difference between the two series okay it's just one series of uh, or one one type of uh you know the perianth fringe the uh it's uh, just one series and it uh they're undifferentiated so those are tepals in that case some a lot of monocots do that as well anyway uh, this thing smells absolutely incredible. Too bad you can't see the stigma in there. You can see all those stamens with the white anthers on top of it, the white filaments. But the stigma is, you know, being that the flower is soaking wet, it's been pissing here, thank God, which is we need the rain. Uh, you can't see the stigma. But when this thing is pollinated, if it is, if a bat hit this last night, this uh, ovary down here will swell. All cacti have inferior ovaries, so the, the ovary, the fruit, ovary is the same as a fruit, uh, is below where the petals, or the, excuse me, the tepals attach. And uh, so that's a that's an inferior ovary, uh, and uh, it'll swell, and then you'll get a, a fruit with a bunch of tiny seeds inside, and hopefully a bird or some other mammal, maybe a tequache, a little possum, uh, will uh, disperse it. You can see also there's more uh, Salinas cereus spinulosus flowers over there. That whole segment is just drooping, and of course that gets more light. That's probably why that's got more flowers on it. It's uh, near an open part in the canopy of this, canopy of this ebony, but this is definitely a plant that needs to be planted more. You could make, you know, 20 different individual plants from this, these, these branches right here, you know, cut them and then cut them in half again, whatever, and share them. So this is, this is, and sadly, this is the best hope for many plants uh, in a region because there's just so much growth and sprawl going on. All right. But it's also, I mean, the more people you get appreciating it, having your garden, uh, you know, maybe there's, there's a hope for this, uh, this plant and many others yet as we continue to lose more habitat. So those black belly whistling ducks were around here too. Ducks hanging out in the trees. I don't know where they went. Anyway, very cool plant. Wish more people knew about it. Wish more people uh, uh, appreciated it and respected it. Selena Sirius spinulosis. So I'd love to get some photos, some money shots of bats hitting this thing. There's a lot of bats, a lot of Mexican free tail bats flying around here uh, come dusk, you know. They like to hang out uh, by the freeway. The freeway overpass, you know, and the, the freeways go over the roads here and there's these little uh, spots where the back and, you know, on the side, the edges of the freeways uh, near those overpasses where a bat can just uh, fly up under and look at a nice little bat roost. But yeah, bats are the primary pollinators, maybe moths too, but I'd imagine a lot of it's really bats. So look, there's a fly on that one. Not going to pollinate that thing. Anyway, that's all I got for you this evening. Have a good rest of your day. Go fuck yourself. Bye. How come you guys were just down here and now you're up on a roof? Black-bellied whistling ducks, that's what you guys are. What you doing on a roof? Why don't you just come down? You, I mean, you know I'm not going to be messing with you over there. You were in a tree just earlier. What you doing now? I, You know, as long as you don't poop up there, don't, 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 
no shitting on the roof. And I'm not cleaning duck crap off the roof up there. What's your friend doing? He, hey, hey, Rico Suave, you look fine. Quit, pre, quit preening yourself. Why don't you come, come back down? Come on, I'm sorry. Look at this guy. You got a duck in a tree up there. You, what do you do? You gotta come down. Are you supposed to be up in a tree? Black belly whistling ducks. What are you doing up there? Why don't you get down out there? Why don't you go hang out in a pond? You go hang out in a pond out there, nice.